हेलो वेलकम टू द सेशन डेटा स्ट्रक्चर स्टैक गेट क्वेश्चंस एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन द स्टूडेंट विल बी एबल टू सॉल्व डेटा स्ट्रक्चर स्टैक प्रॉब्लम्स फर्स्ट वी विल पुट वन क्वेश्चन ट्राई टू आंसर इट अ प्रोग्राम अटेम्प्ट्स टू जनरेट as many permutation as possible of the string a b c d by pushing the character a b c and d in the same order onto the stack but it may pop up the top character at any time which one of the following a string cannot be generated using this program simply the question is you have to push the characters a b c d in the same order and you have to generate one of the string try this now here we'll try this if i am pushing a then b then c and then d now we'll check how the different popping options are there in this first option a has pushed a has popped b has pushed b has popped c has pushed c has popped and d pushed d popped so this string is possible in the second d c b a so all a b c d we have pushed then d has popped c has popped b has popped and then a is popped so this is also possible in this case after a b c c has popped then b has popped then a has popped and lastly d has pushed and popped but in the last case a b c we have pushed c has popped and after that they want to pop a but it is not possible because b is there in the series so this is not possible option so a string c a b d cannot be generated using this program now we'll see the next question from 2007 the following postfix expression with single digit operands is evaluated using stack now here one postfix expression is given and they are asked about this note that power is the exponential operator the top two elements of the stack after the first star is evaluated r so there are two star two multiplication so they are asked after first multiplication what will be the answer or what will be the top of the stack so these are options we will check how it operates so this is a given is postfix expression we have already seen that infix expression is operand operator and operand where the operator is in between two operands postfix expression is where the operator is at the post position so first operands and then operators so here we want to convert postfix operation to the infix operation so here we will push the operands on the stack where infix to postfix we were pushing operators on the stack so here our intention is to convert postfix to infix so we will push the operands on the stack now algorithm for this is read the symbol from the expression that is the input based on the input symbol go to the step 2 and 3 if the symbol is operand push on the stack if the symbol is operator then pop top two values from the stack these two popped values will be our operand now create a new string putting operator between 
two operands and then whatever the answer will be there again push it onto the stack and at the end only the value will remain in the stack which is infix expression. Now here we are having this expression 8 2 3 power slash 2 3 multiplication. So up to this we have to find the answer. Now here first 8 it is a operand scan symbol is operand so that will be pushed on the stack then 2 2 will be also on the stack 3 will be also on the stack all operand we have pushed on the stack then we are having the power now here power will be put on this immediate first two operands on the top of the stack so here 2 raised to 3 so here output will be 2 raised to 3 will be 8 and that again pushed on the stack so our stack will be 8 and 8 now next we are having division so again we will pop to top of the stack 8 and 8 8 divided by 8 here it will be giving 1 and again we are pushing that on the stack now on the stack only 1 is there next we are having 2 we have pushed 2 on the stack then we are having 3 we have pushed 3 on the stack next to that we are having the multiplication so multiplication we are going to insert between this top 2 value so 2 into 3 that will be 6 that we are pushing on the stack so top of the stack will be 6 and next will be 1 so here answer is top of the stack will be 6 and 1 so this is our final answer now next third question find out the result after evaluating the postfix expression 10 5 plus 66 divided by into 8 and minus now here again the same operation we will apply to this 10 that is operand we are pushing on the stack next 5 is operand we are pushing on the stack then we will apply this addition sign between 10 and 5 that will be 15 and that will be pushed on the stack then next we are having 60 that will be pushed on the stack then 6 is there 6 will be pushed on the stack then we are having the division sign so that division will be 60 divided by 6 so we, our answer is 60 divided by 6 is 10 so that will be pushed on the stack after that we are having the multiplication sign 15 into 10 that will be 150 that will be pushed on the stack so next is 8 that will be pushed on the stack then we are having minus sign so 150 minus 8 that will be 142 so here we can find this option is 142 on this is the correct option that is 142 so here we are seen that postfix expression we are operating one more gate question we will be checking that the base data structure to check whether the arithmetic expression has balanced parentheses for this operations are q stack tree and list we can put every opening parenthesis in the stack and pop every time when we go get the closed one so at the end when we are having all the matching parentheses so opening and closing our stack will be empty and that empty stack is indicating that our parentheses are balanced so here we are using stack and that is the correct data structure for the checking arithmetic expression which are having the balanced parenthesis thank you